Uh, hello, this is Tola Olubumi from uh, Trifold Productions. And uh, today I want to uh, actually start doing tutorials on CGI animation. Um, I've been doing CGI for about uh, three to four years. Uh, and it's a pretty uh, interesting uh, type of, a, of a art there. Uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with 3D animation or 3 or CGI animation. I actually, implement it into all kinds of uh, aspects of life. Uh, but the uh, CGI animation software that I usually use is, or always have been using, actually is Blender. And all I have to do is uh, type up uh, Blender.org, as you can see, uh, to the uh, to your web browser, and uh, this site should pull up. And you just go to the uh, right hand side of uh, the, the uh, Blender page and you'll see the uh, download uh, uh, button here. Uh, actually, the download uh, marquee. You just click on that and it'll uh, uh, take you through the downloading process. And after you've downloaded Blender onto your laptop or your PC, uh, you just go to your destination folder where it's been kept. Let me uh, pull that up here. I've got my saved on my external hard drive, which is the K drive. And then you go to, uh, you click on it. I'm a little bit on the tired side this morning, but uh, it's all good. I'm, it's, it's taking some time to come up here. It's still, okay, there we go. It's still processing. And there it is. Once you open up Blender uh, on your uh, PC or laptop, this is what will come up. Um, and as soon as you open up, you see your workstation has basically four default elements in this workstation window. You've got your camera, your your light source, which is this black dot with these uh, perforated circles around it. And then you've got your cube here, which is your default mesh and your work floor grid. And that really helps with, you know, when you want to build uh, uh, landscapes or interior and you want to tell where your floor is and how big the floor is, the dimensions and so on and so forth. This grid floor really comes in handy. To your left of the uh, workstation screen, you've got your uh, tool tab, so we call this in uh, Blender the tool tab. You've got your timeline <coughs> at the bottom, at the very bottom with some other elements there. You've got other options to the right here, uh, layers, dimensions, to really set up your camera or uh, for playback. The resolutions, it's all kinds of elements you could, you could utilize here. And at the top, you've got other aspects, uh, basic aspects, which is your file, your add, render, and so on and so forth. But we'll get into that a little bit later as we continue on and go deeper into uh, Blender. But right now, we'll just stick to the basics and uh, we'll talk about um, meshes. Uh, actually, mesh manipulation, which this is a mesh cube it's not only the only mesh blender has it has uh, for quite a few but mesh manipulation and scene manipulation and adding and deleting meshes from a scene um, I'm gonna show you how to maneuver around the, the, this workstation now uh, if you hover your mouse over any of the elements in your scene except for the you can't uh, select your uh, grid floor but you can select other items uh, in your scene, you just uh, hover over your mouse over your the element, and you just right click, and it highlights that in orange to tell you it's it's uh, that you've chosen that. So you can manipulate that. Same thing with your lamp and your mesh there also. And if you look uh, to the bottom left hand corner of your workstation screen, you'll see the the name of the element that you've just selected. So cube has been selected. Uh, hover your mouse over the camera. You look down. Camera has been selected, and that's how Blender is in general with all of its elements. It'll let you know what you selected, which is pretty uh, a pretty nice feature in itself. Uh, to actually zoom in and zoom out uh, from a scene, you you uh, scroll up on your mouse wheel on your uh, on your mouse. If you're using the PC, you scroll up to zoom in, and you scroll down to zoom out um, to actually move the whole scene around you hold down your your middle mouse wheel and you just move your mouse up along your mouse pad 
and it just pretty much moves pretty effortless, effortlessly um, with your mouse there and it's pretty convenient that way but if you're wanting to get a uh, I guess a more direct uh, view of what you're working on like front top or side that's where you can use the, your your mouse uh, actually your uh, number keypad when you press one on your number keypad that's my cell phone going off again you press one on your number keypad uh, you go to the front perspective you can tell from the uh, top left hand corner it says front uh, you press seven it goes to the top as you can see from uh, what's uh, written at the top of your uh, of the corner in the left hand corner and press 3 to go to the right you can see it's been shown or uh, stated here in the top left hand corner also now once again if you click left or uh, right click uh, and hover your cursor over your mesh you can move your object uh, itself without having to move the whole scene uh, you can move it by uh, holding down your left mouse button over these uh, blue, green, or the red arrow. Let's uh, go into the top view by pressing 7. You have your red arrow there. And these are called axes. And these are points on your meshes to tell, you know, to let you know or actually have help you move your uh, mesh, you know, forward, backwards, up and down, so on and so forth. Now the Z axis, let's go back to the front view by pressing 1 on your number keypad. The Z axis is up and down. So if you left click oh, okay I don't know why that came up that's uh huh uh, but uh, if you hold down your left uh, uh, mouse button over the the uh, z-axis you can drag it up on the z-axis up and down and the same thing on the x-axis that's left and right and if you go to the top uh, the top view by pressing 7 on your number keypad you can move it uh, on the y-axis backwards and forwards. So let's let's center that by uh, dragging it in between these two, the y-axis and the x-axis. Uh, clicking, holding down your mouse button, left mouse button on the x-axis. Just put it in the center there, and you've got it centered. And let's go to the front view by pressing one on your number keypad, and you know you've seen it's it's pretty much centered. And let's zoom in by scrolling up on the uh, mouse scroll wheel. Now you can tell that your uh, mesh is kind of high up in your workstation and in order to move it down uh, I believe you hold down the shift key and then you uh, pull it down with by holding down your middle mouse button scroll button you can move it uh, pretty much uh, in this front view position so by holding down shift on your keyboard uh, keyboard and holding down your middle of mouse scroll button you can actually move it move your scene around in front view which is pretty helpful also uh, let's scroll down to zoom to zoom out okay now let's say you want to actually work on a mesh uh, you have to go into edit mode to do that and there are lots of ways you can go into edit mode you can either go to uh, this uh, section here that is uh, under the word cube it says object if you click on the arrows it turns it has all these options here weight paint texture paint vertex paint sculpt mode edit mode and object mode uh, to go to edit mode you just click on edit mode or a keyboard sh shortcut for that is just press the tab key and it goes from object mode edit mode object mode edit mode and you can see or tell if it's an edit mode by simply uh, noticing that the cube is not orange now let's uh, rotate our scene a little bit by holding down our uh, middle mouse scroll button and just moving our uh, mouse pad over the uh, our mouse over the mouse pad now from this view you can tell that uh, this got three points let's zoom in to take a look at that it's got all these corner points lit up now if you right click on any of these points that individual point lights up which means that that's what you've selected so now you can manipulate you know that particular point let's zoom zoom out by scrolling down uh, if you hover your mouse over uh, the y-axis 
you just hold down your left mouse button and you just move along the Y axis same thing for the X and same thing for the Z uh, now to undo the changes that you've done to get the original mesh shape back you just hold down control and press Z Z Z the number of times you've done an action you hold down control and press Z the number of times you know to go back to the original uh, mesh form uh, let's say that you wanted to pretty much move more than just that one point so instead of just clicking on one point and moving it along one axis uh, right clicking that point and doing the same thing Y axis control Z Z again to take it back to its original uh, form if you look down below your workstation you'll see these uh, little uh, emblems here you've got a square a gray square with an orange dot you've got another gray square with a orange line and you've got another gray square, square with an orange face. Now these are different uh, selection types. Right now we're in vertex select, which is vertex or the points uh, in CGI animation that you can manipulate. But if you want to move two points at once without having to move them individually at this point, you just pretty much uh, left click. And you notice that all the uh, dots are gone. Because right now we're on the edge select, so you just right click on the edge, and now you can move the whole edge as one, one piece or one part. Let's go back to its original uh, uh, shape by pressing Control Z, and then if you want to move this whole face, instead of selecting each uh, point one at a time, and then you know moving each uh, edge one point at a time, you just simply go to face select by uh, left clicking on that emblem there and if you notice there are little dots that have appeared on each face so there are dots on all these faces now which means you can now select a whole face as a as opposed to selecting a vertice or an edge so you right click on that particular face and now you can move it along the z-axis or x-axis or the z-axis or the y-axis so now uh, you have more control over what parts of your mesh you'd want to uh, move or, or maneuver. And let's say you want to actually do more with these uh, faces or the, or the edges, but you don't. You want to add more in terms of trying to uh, create something from this cube, but you need more uh, control over it. In edit mode, what you can do is press A twice, one, two, <coughs> and then once your whole mesh has been uh, highlighted, which means the whole thing has been selected, <coughs> excuse me, you press W on your keypad, and it brings up this uh, pop-up menu, and we'll go over all these. I mean, there's a lot of options here, but we'll go over those later, you know, way, you know, down the line. But right now, we're just going to click on subdivide because we're just, you know, learning CG animation at this point. So click on subdivide, and automatically you'll see that let's zoom out by scrolling down you'll see that your whole mesh has been divided into different sections here and you can control the number of cuts uh, on your mesh by simply going to your uh, uh, tool bar on the uh, left hand side and it says number of cuts from your subdivide and if you uh, press or click the right arrow or the arrow on the right side it increases the number of cuts which uh, as, you, as you can tell increases the number of cuts on your mesh and if you press the left arrow it does the opposite and it reduces the number of cuts on your mesh so that's how you can increase or decrease the number of cuts faces edges or vertices on your mesh in order for you to manipulate your uh, mesh object even more okay let's go back into object mode by pressing the tab button or simply going down to uh, this uh, option at the bottom be below the word cube object mode or you can press the tab button as a keyboard shortcut okay uh, let's say you wanted to you know use you know another form of a mesh to manipulate as opposed to the cube what you would do is in object mode press X on your keyboard and the word delete comes up okay this thing is coming up again I don't understand what's uh, I don't know what's going on with this but I'll have to take a look see at this later 
All right, there we go. Um, uh, press X on with your object selected. Press X on your keyboard, and then the option delete comes up. You just press delete, and before you know it, your cube's gone. And if you wanted to uh, have the cube come back or uh, choose from different other uh, mesh options that Blender has, just hold down Shift and then press A, and uh, this menu bar pops up. It's got all these options here, but we're just going to stick with the first option, which is mesh. And it has all these different uh, mesh options here. You can click on, just left click on any one of these, and it'll bring back the cube or add more meshes to your scene. Um, let's click on cube, and then there's your cube back uh, again on your scene. And pretty much, uh, that's pretty much the intro to Blender. There's so much more that uh, uh, has or can be done with Blender. Uh, but once again, this is just a basic intro tutorial to Blender. So uh, I'm just going to keep it pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Um, and also, I'm going to try and keep these tutorials around 10 minutes. Uh, that way, you know, we can stay focused on, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the tutorials, not, you know, have it, have it drag out for like, hours and hours and hours and things like that but yeah this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, Tola uh, from uh, Trifold Productions and uh, thanks for uh, listening and thanks for watching and uh, as time goes on we'll have more in-depth tutorials uh, with Blender alright uh, take it easy bye bye